ICC membership. Yuzaka could lose ICC membership in June. ICC is set to put forth a resolution to its full council, asking them to consider the expulsion of Yuzaka's membership in the June meeting. Following the lack of the cooperation in the efforts to unite the cricket community in USA, the International Cricket Council, ICC, is considering to expel Yuzaka's membership, the Apex body said in a media release on Monday, May 1. The ICC board is set to put forth a resolution to its full council, asking them to consider the expulsion of Yuzaka's membership, in its meeting set to be held in June. Yuzaka had already been suspended in the year 2015, its third such instance in the past 12 years. Until and unless the full council votes in favor of its expulsion, it will remain a member of the ICC, those suspended. The decision to pass this resolution was not taken lightly by the ICC board. Our focus throughout this two-year process has been on the unification of the USA cricket community behind Yuzaka to grow and develop the sport, said Dave Richardson, the ICC chief executive. But it has become clear that this is just not possible and, having invested so much time and resources into helping Yuzaka and with little in the way of cooperation from Yuzaka, the ICC board now felt that the only remaining option was for the ICC full council to consider expulsion of Yuzaka as a member of the ICC. Yuzaka's refusal to engage in the process, to meet a number of fundamental reinstatement conditions, to provide responses to further requests for information and its apparent failure to put the ICC board-approved constitution before its members without legitimate excuse undermines the all-important objective of uniting the sport. The ICC said that the cricket community in USA remains severely fractured, and have enough reasons to believe that the USAKA doesn't genuinely exercise authority over the sport in the U.S.A. The ICC had noted that only a minor number of cricket leagues are a member of the Yuzaka while a vast majority of them have them have chosen not to be a part of the federation. Recognizing the need to find a fix, the ICC had set up Sustainable Foundation Advisory Group, SFAG, to find a remedy but the Yuzaka's failure to cooperate with them has forced the cricket's governing body to take the extreme step. Among the more serious failures of the Yuzaka was their failure to send its member bodies a copy of the ICC-approved constitution and instead presenting an alternative version of its membership, which was later adopted at a special general meeting in April. During the meetings, the SAFG had developed a revised governance model and various versions of the same were presented to the ICC. In February, ICC requested Yuzaka to put a final version of a constitution to its membership for their approval. Instead of the ICC-approved version, the Yuzaka announced that its members voted to ratify a different version, which had minor edits from that of the ICC's. It appears that Yuzaka failed to send its members a copy of the ICC-approved constitution and instead presented an alternative version to its membership which was subsequently adopted at a special general meeting on April 8, 2017. The alternative constitution included proposals that the ICC board had specifically rejected as well as other material changes that had not been approved by the ICC board. The ICC board considered that all of those proposals and changes were likely to frustrate a successful unification process.